This presentation will guide on how to overhaul CMO compressor. Before performing compressor overhaul, make sure to execute system pump down procedure and then gas recovery to lower the pressure inside the compressor before opening. First, dismantle the cylinder head cover. Using proper spanner, carefully loosen the bolt of valve plate cover. Slowly remove the cylinder head cover. Be careful not to drop the discharge valve. Take out the safety spring and discharge valves. Then slowly pull out the cylinder liner together with the gasket. Repeat the same procedure to dismantle the other cylinder head cover and cylinder liner. After the removing all covers, check the number of upper and lower part of the connecting rod. It should have the same number. Using proper spanner, loosen the knot that holds the connecting rod and half bearing. After removing the knot, carefully remove the half bearing. Repeat the same procedure to remove all the half bearing of the connecting rod. Then carefully remove the cylinder lining. And then pull out the piston assembly. Repeat the same procedure to remove the other cylinder liner and piston. Now before removing the compressor front cover, Shaft seal should be removed first. To remove the shaft seal, loosen the 5 hexagon head bolt. And then carefully remove the shaft seal cover. Inside, you can see the shaft seal immediately. To remove the shaft seal, loosen the 4 hex socket bolt. Remember, do not remove the socket bolt. After loosen the bolt, carefully pull out the shaft seal. At this point, front cover can be removed. Using proper spanner, loosen and remove the bolt. Then slowly pull out the front cover. Now you can see the front bearing cover. To dismantle the front bearing cover, loosen and remove the hexagon head bolt. And now carefully pull out the bearing cover. At this point, it is now free to remove the crankshaft from the compressor block. To remove the crankshaft, firmly hold both ends of the crankshaft and carefully pull out from the compressor block.
finally, all parts have been taken out and ready for inspection or replacement. During the process of dismantling, to avoid mix-up and loss of part, arrange them accordingly. Carefully inspect each part and replace if needed. Before assembling back the crankshaft, check the pin position. Make sure that the pin is properly inserted in the pin guide. Now for the assembly procedure. After installing back the crankshaft front bearing, bearing cover, and compressor front cover, carefully insert the shaft seal and tighten the four socket bolt firmly. and then install the shaft seal cover. Tighten and secure the 5 hexagon head bolt screw. Next, install back the piston to their original location. Check the number and assemble it correctly. Secure the connecting rod nut and tighten the 20 nanometer torque. Now insert the cylinder lining gasket. And then carefully install the cylinder lining. Mount the discharge valve and safety springs. And then put back the head cover. And secure the hexagon head bolt. Repeat the same procedure to install the other pistons and cylinder lining. Tighten the bolt alternately until we reach at the recommended 69 nanometer torque. After securing all the parts, manually rotate the crankshaft and check the condition if we can rotate freely. Thank you for watching.